Ladies and gentlemen, it is Monday, August 12th, 2013, and this is Day 9 Daily number 618, where ordinarily we learn to be a better gamer, but it's Monday, which means that it's time to dick around. And what a wonderful topic to do said around dickery than the Baneling Drops. That is right. Why, why do I even wear headphones? How refreshing to be able to hear myself speak echoing, not in this lonely room alone, because I have Space Manfred with me, and now it's time to share the topic. In today's daily, we will be doing Baneling Drops. I've already told you the topic, but let me el elucidate. That's all the prompt that I gave you fine folks to submit to me, uh, and I was expecting to see a variety of Baneling Drop goody goodness. And oh, what a treat we are in store for, because no matter how bad the gameplay is, when Banelings explode on things, we feel real nice. Mmm. Mmm. Now, let's begin the daily with a story of unbelievably bad decision making, or the story of how I've been up since 6 a.m. Once upon a time, I heard that there was a special event happening this week. Do you know what event it is? Come on, I'm sure you do. Come on. Think about it. That's right. State of the Game Episode 100 is happening this Thursday, and it is going to be happening live up in San Francisco. So I was like, oh, I gotta be there for this. It's going to happen on Thursday. And I happen to own a car, because I behave like an adult. Except on Mondays. Mmm. Yes. So I said to myself, well, sweet, let me just plan out a week up in San Francisco and all I have to do to get there is leave right after I'm done casting WCS. Now I've actually had two weeks to reflect upon this because uh, it's about the time JP was asking me if I could be up for it and for the full two week period it never dawned on me that I'd probably be finishing up WCS late. So it was 11 p.m. and I went to bed. I was like, dude, I'll just totally get up early. So I've been driving since like 6 a.m. I made it here, though. I made it in one piece. But I'm a little delirious because I just had a delicious heavy chicken and steak taco. Mmm. Mmm. So good. You know, again, I'm trying to channel those superhuman abilities. The not sleeping build, but... You know what? I think that the daily really benefits strongly when I'm a little low on sleep. So I'm, I'd like to, of course, announce that uh, my new favorite group, I just bought their album, is uh, that. I don't, I don't really know exactly how that's pronounced, but if you look up their Wikipedia page, they suggest any three monosyllabic repetition, like chick chick or moo 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 or yub 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 and if you go to wikipedia.org and you look up three exclamation marks you will see a list of like 40 of them uh, for those of you who don't believe me hang tight alright let's check this out alright there it is yeah see and uh yeah see pronounced ch -ch -ch. and then uh yeah yeah if you as the band members themselves say, this is pronounced by repeating thrice any monosyllabic sound, but they could just as easily be called... And then they gave a lot of examples. Now, in case you are worried that you wouldn't have enough, we have pow 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 to begin things off. Nur 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 is really good. Uh, I'm, I'm a huge fan of everything that begins with noop noop noop. Tee 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 clock 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 cut 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 moo 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 wa wa wa. Sud sud sud. Dude, I love ner ner ner. Ner 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 ner. Oh, excellent. Well, you know, uh, I'm getting a little bit tangented, but no big deal, because as is customary on Funday Monday, for those of you who have never been here, Funday Monday is the day where we play our favorite game, StarCraft, under some ridiculous constraint. And we'll do an intro just to make sure you know what's up. Hit the wrong button, but that's fine, because when I hit the wrong button, I get all ghosty. Ghosty. Down in the bottom left hand corner we have Seishura, and I'm positive that's how it's spelled. I don't care what the Ademra people thought it was spelled, man. Seishura is totally of the Lathani. And down in the bottom right hand corner we have Zar. Zar. 
It's not. It's not just a regular old czar. It's the saz. Czar, the Pirate King. Down in the bottom right, of course, we have the GLHF. We have the Happy Monday. Oh no, says Czar. What's the deal this Monday? He's saying Happy Monday is a curse. Say sure, kind of saying it properly. He's lost 10 games in a row, and he's been demoted. Czar. Begins with a customary ouch. You know, that sort of bonding is, is good among players. Looks like Seishura says, I think I'll tell you since it's a death wish. And there's no need for Seishura to be dodgy with us. This is going to be some Baneling drops coming in. And I just double Overlord. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> oh, at 14 of 26 supply. Ooh, man. Mmm. Now, I've never built two pylons at the start of the game. Uh, playing Paras never built two depots at the start of the game. Totally done this with Zerg. I don't know what it is about Zerg. You just don't see any buildings. There's that innocuous little egg, and sometimes hitting the V button, you just you just tilt poop out an extra Overlord. But that's fine. But that's fine. You're just going to do some extra scouting. There's all sorts of Overlords out on the map. Looks like Zar doesn't play Zerg, so he totally cannot relate. But we we here at home can. Now, because this is the introductory game, there's a, a disappointingly typical setup from these players. And amazingly enough, my speakers have completely blown out. Oh my god, technology. I'm going to have to wear these sexy, sexy headphones that actually have a plug right here. If you've ever tripped over your headphones, Good luck finding where the end of this cord shoots off to, man. That is just... I don't know what this design is. Probably so you don't tear the cord, but... Yeah, I would rather tear the cord than lose it, man. I don't like losing things. It's very stressful. I'd rather have my car stolen than not be able to find my car keys. At least I know exactly what the stress is, right? Coming up with a lot of good ideas today. I honestly think that the idea of trusting oneself to the max... Oh, it looks like they're filming a Verizon commercial in the background. That's great. Tristan, say hi to everyone. <laughs> By the way, I don't own a second home in San Francisco. I'm just chilling at Tristan's place. Tristan and his cat say hi. They see I'm going to be commuting from Tristan's to say to the game. A true sign of dedication. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, by the way, for any of you who did not know my little trick, that's right, I'm not actually... I don't have the identical room in San Francisco. As much as I would love to be that kind of baller who could just control C his room and control V it in Silicon Valley. Really, the copy-paste IRL function is kind of disappointing because then that way I would never run out of donuts. I would always just have that one donut and I'd be like, all right, I'm going to clone them all and I'll leave that one on the desk so that way when I come home I can just keep copy pasting right and it's always fresh oh my god think of everything that you could do wow you'd lose your keys and you'd be like well let's see what's on the clipboard maybe it's the keys and you like control V and socks fall out and you're like oh god I'll well, just put on another pair of those why not Oh, Upgrade Show notes that you could probably end world hunger. Hmm. I could just eat donuts nonstop as well. The price of gold would go way down. Whatever. The important thing is that I'm up in the Northlands. By the way, nice green screening technology, eh? My thing is so wrinkly, I did not, I did not even try to unwrinkle it. <laughs> not in the slightest. Oh my god. All right, I'm trying to move my mouse up and left right now, but there's there's all sorts of cat hair all over it. These are things that I don't actually have to deal with at home. I only have to deal with human hair, uh, which, by the way, in my house, there's a lot of. <laughs> Overlord from Seishura hanging out at the front. That Overlord fits just right in the hands of Kvoth. And Czar is doing kind of a typical build that you would see in the TVZ matchup, you know. Seems good, an engineering bay going down, uh, getting some upgrades, why would you not want to do that? Plus one melee attacks, or as most people used to pronounce it, melee. Because let's be honest, there's a couple of words that are only really used in games. Uh, melee is one, 
I've never heard Melee used anywhere else other than a sensationalizing news station that's trying to talk about a political Melee going down. Over, I don't know, like, cabbage growth rates and stuff. There's a, tr there's a cabbage Melee going on right now. No, no. Cabbage is ranged. Uh, inventory, another, I've never been like, hey, Sean, do you have a stapler? Yeah, let me check my inventory. Nobody says that. I mean, uh, having currency be a, a one-syllable, three-letter word, like gill or fin or bar. Mm. We're doing the intro game. <laughs> We're not going on any sort of tangent. The focus is focus is good today. I'm I'm feeling quite nice. So you know, getting the upgrades, getting the pneumatized carapace, ventral sacks, so far so good. Nest. Uh, that's I guess that's reasonable enough to use outside the context of gaming. Birds have nests, but most other things that have nests are uh, terrifying poisonous things from Lord of the Rings. All right, we're getting close to 10 minutes. This is when Czar is going to be planning his big bio mind push. He's got, oh, he's got the wedding wax. He's got his wedding wax up. But do you know what's going to go down? Because I know what's about to go down. We hear some scans, and what does Czar see? Well, he sees everything as is typical. What does he know? These are 1-0 links. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. This. This just this just bodes well. This is the Santa Claus of StarCraft II. And the eight reindeers bring the, pet, the presents, man. We don't need any old man. We don't need any legend. We just trust what's going to come out of the chimney. But interestingly, when you give presents in StarCraft II... The giver is the one that feels the reward. Isn't that awfully Christian of the game design? That's so wonderful. What a benevolent, utilitarian kind of gift giving. I give because it makes me feel good. Oh. Mothers, let your children play this game. It's really good for the heart and soul. For you, that is. There it is. Okay. Oh. Uh? Oh. Now say Shura never wants it to be just a regular old present. He wants it to be a surprise present. So of course if we actually go to the Czar Cam, this is where he's looking right now. He's getting ready, he's getting his Marines in position, no problem. And in the meantime, what a giver. What a giver, say sure is. Oh, it's it's a, it's a rain of present. Oh, giving feels good. I mean, the reason I donate is for myself. Wow. And as he's typing, as he's typing, this poor man gets his natural drop. This poor man. Wow. In the unit count, we see that 33 workers have been killed. <laughs> Remember to give, guys. Ha ha, says Seishura. Swift like the wind. I've been playing for five months now, never seen that. Well, happy fun day. <laughs> I was going to say the same thing, I totally forgot he said that. What a kick-ass, badass wind bear. What a win-ass. Alright, well... Mines certainly work well against uh, Banelings, but against Zerglings, it just kind of stinkers. This guy hasn't gone off yet. And there he goes off. Okay, cool. Now say sure it can move in. Okay. Okay. So right now, this is looking better and better for our Zerg hero. Better all the time in the unit counting station. We see that, amazingly, Zerg is only ahead by 20, still chilling. Uh, Zerg has killed more workers than he has, so... Yeah. Um... Yeah. Totally, man. Jadong, you need to take some lessons from Zaysure here. The Dong. 
going to be going on in. Oh, yes, Aishura. I think has pretty much shown us all we really need to be introduced to. The Bane Rain feels good. Seishura wins, as he should. And we now have a good idea of how Funday Monday is going to work. Oh. Now, if this truly were exactly like the WCS, Sar would win handily with a single drop with 2-1 Marines. <laughs> Arr, I pee Sar. Yar. I love that it prints it up now. I just get to see the permanence of a single moment's impulse. So, we got damaged health bars going on? What is this? Are these the controls that I have from WCS this week? Oh my god, what is that? Oh, this is no tournament. This is Fun Day Monday. We just, let's just hold the health of these, uh, these poor chaps underneath. And they're gonna be fine. Oh, Banelings. Alright, hang in there, Czar. Now, Czar is gonna be very low on orbital command super soon. Is there something repairing it? Oh, there he is. He's doing a good job. Speeding things up to close the things out. I think things are looking real nice. Seishura. Seishura, this is, you know, this is kind of going overboard. I mean, right now, there's just a, a pile of stuff at the front. This is not going to do much. But indeed, much like a teenager who snuck out thinking he tricked his parents. He's gonna have to climb over the fence, scale the back wall of the house, sneak into the window that's been propped up by a carefully planted toothpick. Except the front door's open and his parents are still awake and won't really care. I don't know if you guys have been there. I certainly haven't. Actually, I literally haven't. I've... I went to LAN parties. I didn't need to come back for anything except monitors. Either way, say Shura, if you try hard, you're going to win hard. Why would you not want nine of them? Because <laughs> I'll gain weight. Back off, chat. Back off there, chat. There's the GG. I don't know what that's doing here, but he is he's the real winner of today. Wait, is the stream dead? It's It's been streaming this whole time, right? Wait, what? Wow. I wonder how long it was away. When did the stream go down? It's been pushing data this whole time. Huh. Well, guys, let me just show you the aftermath. All right, you want to see what you want to see what you missed? You want to see what you missed? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here's here's the overlord part. All right, he tries to drop onto and it does it didn't. He tried to go huge. Now he's just sort of hanging out. But being a man of gross success, Seishura never gives up, never surrenders. I'd like to emphasize that at this moment in time, Seishura is only ahead by 8 supply. I'm not sure exactly how, and yet there it is. Mm-mm-mm. I don't know what that guy's doing there, but he's the real hero of today's daily. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I don't know if we got the chance to talk about this, but yeah, when you're playing Fun Day Monday and somehow your macro slips, just expand four times. If you're going to win, you may as well win hard, right? I mean, if there's a mosquito in the house, why get the fly swatter when you could have a gun attached to a missile? America, right? Let's put a scope on that missile so that way it can aim while it's going down. Yeah! Perfect, man. Why would you not want that? That's what I would want. You know, I'm going to, uh... How are we doing on time? Wow! What an absolutely perfect segment. We went exactly 20 minutes. 
you know, I don't want to ruin a good thing, so we're going to go ahead and take a break. And when we come back, which game should we end up watching? All right. I know how we're going to do this. This is going to be perfect. When we come back, we're going to watch four Swift games that make no sense at all. Stay tuned. It's Funday Monday.